Seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I can spare to play with you. First off, we're gonna start off with the obvious thing with this so-called abuse victim. You don't have any fucking clear evidence, so let's get that clear. You obviously don't want people talking about it, considering that you shy away certain types of people from your Twitter spaces. What's got you so afraid? I can only spare seven minutes, quite literally, because I feel like if I spent any more time with you, it would be an insult to me, my family, and my fucking name. Because this is so fucking stupid to how people can even give you any form of credibility. Second off, LGBT, hold this fucking L. Once again, you are on a losing streak defending people who have no clear fucking proof. Again, I've said this to everyone I've talked to about this. I will retract what I'm saying if I'm wrong. But so far, it's looking like I'm not. How about we bring up... Another obvious statement, how everyone is already pointing the finger at quite. Are we not going to talk about that? Did we learn nothing from fucking Slazo? Oh no, everyone is all believe a victim until evidence comes out that shows that they're not a victim. How can you be seeing Black Panther in 2017 when the damn thing came out in 2018? What are you, a time traveler? You probably are. You probably have to go back to make sure that your dumbass wasn't slipping up. Oh, the fact that I even sp have to spend seven minutes on you. Like, you're not worth it. You're a fucking nobody. You're a clout chaser, a dick rider. And I would say this shit to you. But let's let's stop on you, though, right? Because I know that anytime somebody brings up the fact that you're Jewish, you get all defensive about it. Like, oh, no, he's messing with me. He doesn't like the Jewish people. Here's a fun fact about me. I'm Irish, part English, part German. So I have a license to fuck with you. Period. So don't fucking come at me trying to tell people that I'm anti-Semitic because I tell you, you will not like the answer that I give. And second of all, why you gotta play the fucking xenophobia card anytime somebody asks you a question? Are you that fucking desperate? Like, can you not formulate a basic English sentence? Oh no, but you don't even know what fucking gender you are, so yeah, guess that makes sense. God, wasting seven minutes of my time on this clown. I should be getting paid for this. Ayo, hey, send. Hit me up with a PayPal. Like, these people aren't worth the fucking string of fucking semen they rode in on. God almighty. Here I am offering you my precious time, and you waste it by running around. Not to mention, let's talk about all of these uh, defenders of Orion, right? All of these defenders who are producing fake evidence and are blindly defending. Talk about office drone syndrome. Like, come on, people. You lot need to do better. Like you, Sujin. Why are you spurging out at Sen? Like, calling Sen, like, what was it, a commentary troglodyte? This coming from the man who will defend someone who has zero evidence and can't even get their story straight. It's like, what the fuck? Are you stupid? Like, how can you call anyone anything when you fucking do that? And not to mention the blinding issue of there's no evidence. Where's the rest of the proof? Why is everybody quick to judge? It's like, th this is ridiculous. Like, you're all ridiculous. All these defenders that are like, oh, believe the victim. Believe the victim. You have to. It's free to believe a victim. Yeah, um, yeah. Do, does anyone else remember what happened with Johnny Depp, Slazo, anything like that, just to name a few, when we believed the victim, and look what happened. It's like, y'all are delusional. You are delusional. How dare we ask questions about if there's any evidence, if you have proof. No, no, I don't want to show the proof, because you guys are being mean. You don't want to show, can't or won't show it, because there's really not a case of you can't in this scenario unless you don't actually have it and that's just what i think on the matter as i said this is just ridiculous it's like they can't formulate a sentence and then for some reason they deem it necessary to go after people and bomb them like and then get their videos fucking taken it's like tell you what prove that you have proof and then i will back off too like you can't call anyone out it's just ridiculous it's like i'm rambling a bit here because this is what happens when I have to deal with ridiculous idiots like Sujin and like Orion who don't seem to understand that you need to provide proof. Why should we believe you? If you give us proof, give us proof and we will believe you. But up until that point, why in the hell should we? That's really all I'm going to say on that matter. I promised you seven minutes and you're going to get it. And for these last two minutes, all I'm literally going to say is to just piss off. Like... 
at least had you released some actual proof that we could latch on to and base opinions off of, we wouldn't be having this. But no, you couldn't even provide the most basic of proof. And not even only that, but your story has changed from 2019, I believe, or even 2018, to now. Uh, originally, you told one of your super best friends in private, and then that's when the video at uh, giving the axe to quite released talking about how he was this how he was that there was no mentions of any assault that took place but then suddenly in 2023 i think around four years later i could be wrong about that correct me if i'm wrong now it has been changed around to the point where kwai is now a fucking rapist how have we gotten to this point how have we gotten from point a to point b nah you know what I i'm done that that's where i'm at I'm actually done. Like, you don't have any proof. You don't have any means to actually prove this. This is sad. It's like, and not to mention, aren't you like a like a bit of a groomer yourself, Orion? Hasn't that came out recently? That you went after a kid or some shit? I don't know how true that is. I'll need to look into it. But stay tuned for that because if that turns out to be true, I'm coming for you. Because like, nah, you don't get to talk shit after that comes out. Yep, and there you go. That's it. After after I get this done, it should be exactly seven minutes. So yeah, decimated once again. I know I ranted a bit, and I apologize for that, but this is what happens when your boy gets annoyed. Next time, come back out with evidence, and things might have been different for you. But the fact that you didn't, you just look super sketchy, and that's why nobody wants to believe you, because of how sketchy you look. But anyway... That's it for me. I truly hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, it's definitely been a blast. It's definitely been something to write home about. So I will see you all in the next one. Seven minutes on the dot. That's how punctual I am. Oh, playtime is over. How fortunate for you.